Hi, this is Scott White and Kivowitz, and we're about to plan a photo walk for Photo Plus Expo, and we figured we'd record it uh, just so people who have never planned a photo walk and are, are interested in planning a photo walk can see just a typical conversation of, of what really goes on behind the scenes planning a photo walk. And so, uh, for those who don't know, again, my name is Scott White and Kivowitz. I'm a photographer out of New Jersey, and um, uh, I've written a bunch of books on Flatbooks and also uh, with Peach Pit Press and um, do a lot of landscape work, some street photography work, portrait work, and I also am the community and blog wrangler at Photocrati who makes WordPress products for photographers. Um, so uh, Nick, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, sure, Scott, thanks. My name is uh, Nicholas Papagallo. I actually used to live in New Jersey and I was a photographer out there and uh, recently and uh, now living in Phoenix, Arizona. And um, basically, I run a interactive photo community for photographers where we get together and do this kind of stuff all the time. We're doing photo walks, seminars, classes, and it's, it's a lot of fun. We uh, have 35 chapters, and I'm excited to come back there and, uh, and meet our New Jersey members. Yeah, for, so for those who don't know uh, or re remember the, the smug groups that were around, that Smug Mo used to um, host, pretty much Nick's... Um, Nick's uh, Photographer's Adventure Club basically took those over, so now they're all packs. Um, so we, acquired, we acquired those, and we went from 1,500 members to 35,000 members uh, about a year, a little bit over a year ago. Yep, and so uh, basically the photo, the photo walk we're planning is a, it's basically a pack photo walk for, or for during Photo Plus Expo in, at the end of October, beginning of uh, November, coming up for 2014. Um, Javon, do you want to do a quick intro about yourself? Sure. Hi, my name is Javon. I am the managing editor at The Photographer. I'm also a photographer in New Jersey, and I'm sort of planning the route for this photo walk, so that's me. Awesome. So Javon um, is, uh, spends a lot of time in New York City, so uh, we thought it was a good, good idea for him to do a quick uh, scouting of, of the location of where we're going to start and uh, help us plan the route basically plan the route for the most part. Um, since he's around there all the time, and a lot of people, the route that we're going with, which you'll see, um, is one that uh, a lot of photographers don't normally do. So it should be a really fun one, uh, especially for people who either don't go to New York City all the time or go to New York City and spend a lot of time not in this location. So, um, yeah, so, okay, so the way this works, uh, let me uh, share my screen real, real quick so everybody can see. Share my screen, screen two. So let me know when you guys... know about me planning the route. We do a route of all the pizza since I live in Arizona now. <laughs> that is true. That is very true. Yeah. Um, which, by the way, Arizona's time zone never changes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys should see my screen, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, so the Photo Plus Expo is October 30th through November 1st. Everybody should be able to see that uh, right over here on the Photo Plus Expo website. So we decided, well, we polled the fa uh, different Facebook groups and Google Plus groups or communities to see what day people would prefer. And because there's a lot of working working photographers and then there's also a lot of, uh, you know, hobbyists and freelance photographers that have full-time jobs, uh, typically, they all, the, the consensus was basically November 1st, which is... Uh, plus because the 31st is Halloween, uh, November 1st because it is a Saturday. Um, so there's some advantages of going with Saturday. One, you've got more opportunity to get more people, and also the Saturday at Photo Plus Expo is typically the day that all the students go, on top of people who have full-time jobs, um, you know, normally. So we think November 1st is a good day to go with anyway, so that's what we decided to do. Now on November 1st, uh, let's go to about show date, date and times. On November 1st, uh, that's where I was already. Friday, Saturday, let's go down. So expo hours ends at 4 p.m. So we are basically going to uh, plan the photo walk for everybody to meet at, at 4.30. This is a good time because by October, the sun's going to be setting earlier, 5, 5.30, 6, depending on the day. Um, and it's also going, also going to uh, it's also going to be getting colder quicker. Um, I know that the last two Photo Plus Expos uh, two years ago it snowed in October, 
Um, no, it wasn't a snow. It was a blizzard. It was, it a, was a blizzard. Snow. Yes, it was pretty bad. It um, down the state. <laughs> yeah, and then last year it was it was pretty cold. Last year, um, uh, scarf, gloves, hats. It was pretty cold. So I don't know what I'm getting myself into. It's like <laughs> 75 here all year long. Yeah, yeah, you're in for a real treat. Um, that's what you get for spending so much time away from New Jersey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So that's what we're doing. We're basically going to do like 4.30, start around 4.45, 5 o'clock, end. So um, now that we've got that uh, you know, thrown, uh, through, let's move on to the map. So I've got Google uh, or Apple Maps because it's um, easier to plan with Apple Maps than it is Google Maps. So um, what we decided is, let me turn this a little bit. So we decided, uh, or Javon decided, <laughs> and we confirmed or agreed, that 5th Avenue, which is right here, at 110th Street, because Javon said uh, the B and C trains will go from... Uh, where do they start, Javon? Um, we're, you can catch those trains from New York Penn Station. So most of us are coming into Penn Station, so it's a nice point of reference. So you can take that up to 110th Street, and we'll be walking into the park and out of the park by the Museum of Natural History. So, so the circle that... is to the left. If you go take 112 Tenth Street all the way to the left, right here, that circle, right there, yeah, that's where we're getting off at. Okay, so it's not here; it's actually over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong circle. Sorry. Okay, so right there. That's okay. why we're trying to avoid because that's the penitentiary over there. So. Oh, so it's not Fifth Avenue. It's actually Central I'm Park sorry. Yeah. West. Central Park West. I'm sorry. Okay. You walk so much, sometimes you forget the streets because you're just there all the time. Wait, so Central Park West, I'm, actually, let me zoom out to get a full... Yeah. So, um, just so everybody can see, we're actually going to be where Javits is, is way down here, over... That's we're taking the subway. Around here, right? Um, yeah, go back up a bit. Keep going. Isn't it over here? Yeah, it's over here, but it's, up, it's just about... We're the what here with the green is to the left. You're we're around there. Okay, so Javits, yeah. yeah, it's like 12th Avenue, right? Right. Okay. Um, actually, let's we can actually see it if we do this. I believe. There we go. Next to the piers. Let's do a hybrid. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, it's by, right by the ships too. Yeah. It's not this high up though, is it? No, no, it's not. I thought it was 12th and. 12th and. 40, oh, it's it's 34th and 40th, so it's about... Oh, yeah, so it's over here. Yeah, yeah. here's the ships. Okay. So, this is Javits. Yeah, that's Javits. Okay. So, um, okay, let me go back to standard. Yeah, there we go. There it says Jacob Javits. Okay. So, people who are um, going to be at the Javits Center, which is going to be most of the people coming to this photo walk, will have to, will, will they, they'll have to walk to um, back to, to Penn Station, which is right here. So let's say everybody's starting here, right? Well, I... And they have to walk to oh, here. A little girl, what time told you faster? Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, for everybody who's watching and listening, uh, Javon is at a, uh, n a a block party in his neighborhood. So his, yeah, I'm sitting on my front porch, and my son just is checking in. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, so Javits is here. Everybody's going to have to walk up to Penn Station, grab the B or C train up to 110th Avenue. So they're going to walk a few blocks to the subway, which will take them all the way up here to 110th. Now, this is Central Park. We're going to be doing a photo walk throughout Central Park. Now, this is sort of like the the uncharted territory where very few photographers um, exactly. do their photo walks. Uh you know, individual photographers, of course, walk Central Park, but it's not common to see photo walks this high up in Central Park. So it should be a, a real treat for everybody who comes. Yeah, it's not a bad walk because I've actually done it. I've done the whole park. And from the circle, we're going to walk into the park towards the lake, and we're basically going to do a triangle down to 81st Street. So there's a lot of stuff to see along the way. So we're going we're gonna to go here and go towards this lake. Yikes. Yeah, and okay. then work our way down into the park and then back out to 81st. To 81st, which right. is... And that's the Museum of Natural History. It's still on the left or is it on the right? It's on the left. It's it is on the left, okay. And then back out again. Yeah, it's on the left side. Yeah, we're going to... We we're entering on the left and we're ending on the left. 
Bam, right there. Cool. And it may seem long, but it goes by really fast. And then, I mean, the, the I guess an added benefit is anybody who wants to keep going could go back into the park and just keep going all the way down. Yeah. The great thing about that park is you could spend all day there yeah. and you won't even notice it. Your yeah. legs will be like, oh, yeah, I just walked miles. But so, yeah, so, so this should be a really good um, sunset photo walk, too, because we could even spend a lot of time around this reservoir. Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful reservoir. Jack, there's a fountain in it, so... It's just great to look at, especially when you have buildings in the background. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, and depending on how this winter starts out, we could be it could be iced. <laughs> so. Come on, don't don't do that to me. Yeah, don't. don't. <laughs> I'll bring my ice skates. <laughs> wow, I just faded out on the screen. I just realized that. So um, so again, for, so the way we're doing it is um, everyone's uh, starting at Javits, walking up to Penn Station to get the hop on the subway up to 110th and Central Park at this circle right here. And then we're going to head through into the park towards this, <coughs> excuse me, towards this lake and then go down, I guess I, around over here, and then go around, we'll go around the reservoir and then out at 86, uh, I'm sorry, 81st, which is the Museum of Natural History. So that's a, that's a pretty good route. Um, I, I'm digging it. And then, of course, uh, people can either keep walking, go to a bar, go get some dinner, whatever whatever they want to do. Um, that's the fun part of the photo walk is you get to do something fun afterwards. Um, so yeah, uh, we, we can always plan that as it gets closer, too, where we can all just have a, an endpoint and meet somewhere for a beer. That's true. Um, yeah, we, so we could do that. It's, uh, well, really, that part we definitely can't plan until it gets closer Sure. And we know how many people are coming because if if we get it to two three hundred people, which would yeah. be a good thing, um, would be nearly impossible to, <laughs> exactly. to take over take over any bar there with that many people. Yeah, yeah. Um, we could take over the Natural History Museum. <laughs> Let's do it. Goal. <laughs> um, it's a great museum. I always hit that when I go back there. Javon, are you what? What is that on your tag? I wish I could afford to live in New York. He's muted. He might, he might have just bumped off because it got really. It looked like it was getting dark outside. Hmm. Um. All right. So. So the next step, of course, is to uh, get the events posted. So. Um. Uh, do you want me to post the event and then uh, we could just edit it along? And since I, I'll just share my screen again and we can get that posted. Sure. Okay. Um. Share screen again. So I'm going to start it on Google+, and then um, just because it's already here, and then basically what I would do is, um, and again, this is for anybody who wants to plan a photo walk, I would now go to events, I would create an event, and once I get it on Google+, I would then copy everything over to Facebook so that everything is identical and we can get people signing up and we can get a really good number of who's coming. So... Yeah, I'll, put on, I'll put it on the PAC group. We could do a blog about it on PAC so all the members know about it as well. Yep. Um, I'm going to say PAC. Uh, is it, Javon, is it uh, appropriate or common for me to say Central Park North photo walk? Um, Central Park West. West photo walk, okay. Um, and then we are doing November 1st, so I picked the date, and we are doing 4.30. Event options, guests can invite other people. It's very important. Guests can add photos, very important. And it is not a online only, but I'll add a website there because it is a pack photo walk. Um, say the B and C line from uh, Penn Station, New York City, to 110th. Uh, Devon, do you know what the exact uh, stop is? It's 110th. Um, it's 110th stop, yes. That's it, okay. It's exactly, yes. Okay, cool. Okay. Now, here's also what's very important is, uh, actually, I don't want names. I want to just type public. Now, what this does is it makes it so that this event is open to everybody. Uh, everybody. It's not limited whatsoever. Um, so, uh, 110th Street... 
Uh, New York, New York. Is it Flushing, do you know? Or just, okay, West 110th Street. West 110th Street. Cool, okay. So now in the details, we're going to say, um, uh, please join us for uh, a photo walk uh, brought to you by Photographer's Adventure Club. Do you put an apostrophe in there, Nick? Um, we used to. We took it out now. Now people online and stuff, so it's just it's grammatically incorrect, but yeah, we, but easier, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but cool. Um, Scott, I actually went and cross checked. It is actually Central Park North. So oh, um, really? Yeah, I looked it up on Wikipedia real quick. Kind of wasn't sure. Cool. I mean, just used as calling it one thing, but it's Central Park North. Nice. Uh, following uh, the end of the 2014 Photo Plus Expo. At oh man, I can never spell Jacob Javits Center. Oh, <laughs> they don't even call it that anymore. They just call it Javits Center. Uh, oh really? They they change the name of it too? <laughs> apparently, apparently. Uh, and type convention center in New York City. Um, we are starting the walk, uh, the photo walk, at a hundred at the hundred and tenth Street. Central Park, Central Park, um, should I call it Central Park, 110th Street Central Park Circle or just stop, a uh, subway stop? Um, officially, it's 110th Street Central Park North stop. Um, so basically, when you when you create the event for the photo walk, you want to give as much detail as you can. You know where pe how how should people get there? You know, obviously, we're everybody's starting basically from the same place, but not everybody's going to take the subway at the same exact time. So um, the key is to get people to the starting location, which for us is 110th Street, um, the Central Park subway stop. So uh, we are uh, starting the photo walk. You get out of the subway, look for the group of photographers. I'll make sure you say the BSC train. That's very important. Yes, yes, yes. Um, take the B or C train from Penn Station, New York City, to the 110th Street stop. Uh, when you get out of the subway, look for the group of photographers. So we will. I'll probably be there cameras. first. What? I said I'll probably be there first. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, we will make our way through Central Park, walking by uh, a, uh, one of the lakes and the reservoir. Our route will end at 81st Street, which is uh, the location of the Natural Museum of Art, right? History. If I spell natural wrong. Is it, is it natural? Is it, is it? Let me see. Uh, museum of Natural History. <laughs> right. That's what we want because there is an art museum also. Yeah, yeah. Of natural history. Yeah, the MIM or so something. So that's what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, so uh, when you're playing a photo walk, make sure you get all the names correct. <laughs> it is, especially um, in New York where there's a lot of things going on, so one small mistake could have you across town. Yep, yep. Um... Okay. Uh, yeah. Please uh, RSVP yes if you can make it and share it with all of your friends. The more, the merrier. Let's make this photo walk a uh, let's uh, let's make the photo walk a what do you want to say? How do you want to finish it off? We hope we uh, we hope you can join us. Let's make this photo walk epic. That's what, <laughs> that's what we yeah. just added. Make this photo walk epic. 
Um, <laughs> my, my cat has decided to play with something hanging behind me. Every, actually, hold on. Everybody can see this. Let me stop sharing my screen. Hey, Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. I know. And cat, and cat. <laughs> so I usually um I usually put some different details uh, equipment to bring out here. We right. have to in Arizona. We always have to tell them to bring water to stay hydrated. But you know you may want to say it may be cold. You know we're going to be outside the whole time. Second, Dress accordingly. Tripods for night. People ask me those questions and they still ask them. Ringo, oh my god, he's still doing it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> One thing important about New York photo yeah. walk is... So I, I, put, I put my headphones up on the dresser and he sort of got on his back legs and pulled the wire. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so uh, please dress accordingly. I can't type accordingly. Um, um, since we're going to Central right? Park, my tips are... Wear a decent pair of shoes or boots. Yeah. Uh, because we're going to Central Park, wear a decent pair of shoes or boots because you might want to get into the grass or something, and if it's cold and wet, you might want to get your shoes a little dirty and to get that right shot. So, you know, just have the right footwear. And it's a long walk, and it's, you know, you want your, want your feet to be comfortable. And there's a hiking rule that I try to follow is I actually wear two pairs of socks in case my feet more comfortable and a little drier. And um, you can walk longer that way. <laughs> I was going to type Javon with two pairs of socks. Um, <laughs> when I'm going on a long walk, I wear two pairs of socks. I never have blisters. Let's do this. Let's do weather. Yeah, I put like, I usually bullet point it, like bring this or wear this, bring this, bring this, you know, wide angle lens, tripod, water, you know, just like a, you know, just make it as simple for um, members to be able to figure it out and it, it, it does debunk a bunch of the questions so you don't have as many questions because then if everyone reads it they really just get a full you know understanding of what if they've never done one we've had some people in Vegas that are like hey what are we doing and it was like we're walking and we're taking pictures and like really I'm like yeah so you know if it's a first photo walk they'll kind of get a whole essence of what we're doing just from reading it yeah in Central Park, you can get away with tripod. In New York City proper, you can't. So just be very careful. I actually try not to walk with tripods in New York because police tend to stop you when you have a tripod or a tripod bag. So just be aware really? of that. So they're, they're giving you a hard time. What was? Are we lagging here? A little. There's a little lag, but the re Um. Because New York has a lot of laws in terms of trademarks, if you take a picture of the wrong building or you look too professional, they have pulled me over for that. It's really hilarious. So, and also, yep. they just worry about what's in the back, especially tripod bags. So, you know, they want to make sure you're not carrying something, so you're more likely to be stopped in a subway station with a tripod bag than just a bare tripod. But like the smaller the better, and if it can be seen, that's even better. But I try not to travel with a tripod at all, and it's really absolutely yeah. Necessary. Especially if, like um, I have a desktop tripod for like you know if I want to get low on the ground, but so, I'll use the environment as my tripod first before I you know carry something big. So here's what I'm saying. I'm saying tripod compact since you'll be at Photo Plus Expo prior to the photo walk, and that way, um, you know. If people are bringing a tripod, at least we're not recommending bringing a really big one. Like, I won't bring my really right stuff. I'll probably bring um, just my three-legged thing since it's smaller. Yep, yeah, um, yeah, the hiking one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm, um, not, I'm definitely not going to have my big one because I have to fly out there, so I'm just going to – I usually just bring a little, you know, beater one with yeah. me. Yep. Um, but, I mean, you know, we're, um, we're going to be in Central Park when the sun goes out, so, you know, doing some long exposures could be really cool. At that point, at that night, you know, at that time of night. Uh, so yeah, and the thing is to challenge yourself. You know, if you're used to using a tripod all the time, try not to. Try to do something different where right. you may have to put it in a low spot. You might get a better shot that way. Definitely. I'm, say, um, I'm even going to say flashlight headlamp because at some point it's going to be dark, and I don't know how the lighting situation is <laughs> where we're going to be. So um, I'm going to well, say. Central that. Park has a lot of lamps, surprisingly. So you know. At dusk, we'll be fine. We're not going to be out there too much into the dark. You know, it's 
but dusk wise it's it's actually pretty cool how long do you think the walk is, how how long do you think that that walk is an hour or hour and a half hour and a half okay um Okay, anything else you think I'm missing from this? Um, Bring water. Did you get that? Water, yes, yes, yes. Water it's bottle. Central Park, no matter what, it's, it's chilly, but you still get thirsty. I'm going to say um, buy one from... Um, I'm not saying Javit. I'm going to say uh, from a store prior yeah. to the walk if you need to. Um, or it's November, so we it, we should probably we should probably say coffee or hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm gonna go for coffee. <laughs> um, well, I was back there last year in November, and it was actually pretty warm. I was up in upstate New York, and um, you know, I was surprised how warm it was. I, I lucked out, I'm sure, so it's not gonna always be that warm. But As you've been joking you guys had a pretty job, bad winter, actually. The- we keep saying the weather is drunk here, so we don't know what it's going to do. Like our September is August, our August was September in terms of temperature, so we don't know what's going to happen this year. Um, I'm going to grab the okay. logo, bam, logo, right there, and then I'm going to change it. Oh, it's actually going to say it's too small, so I'll probably have to do a whole screenshot of the website. So instead, let me do that instead. Hold on, mono snap and. Yeah, it'll it'll cycle around, but you can pick any of the slides. That's a cool slide. Uh, oops, um, it's actually do. It. I should drag this to the screen. My computer started to slow down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Here. Okay, that one works too with uh, someone taking a picture. Well, which one? Which one would you prefer? This one? Any, any of them. That one's to Arizona, so yeah. actually I had taken it off the other website because of that, and then it got put back on this one again. Yeah, I think the one with Alan with taking a picture might kind of resonate with people. So not not this one. Um, if you go hit the next button one more time. That one. That one. That one kind of looks. Cool. Oh, that's good. That actually fits in yeah, the one. Yeah, that fits up. That fits well. Okay. Let's grab this. So, uh, when you're doing a, in, a image for the event on Google Plus, it needs a big image. So, um, sometimes I'll just take a screenshot of a website as needed. Uh, let me go and grab that screenshot is right over here. And then Google Plus will have you crop it. Facebook does this as well. But they don't need such um, such large images. They just need smaller ones. Um, see, like, look at the cropping is so weird. Yeah, they're all different. Facebook, even between a Facebook group and a page, it's totally a different size. It's it's actually quite maddening when you try to just make one or two. They they're all totally separate. Yep. Um, okay, so I do that. I'm going to invite the public to this photo walk. Uh oh. Now the event Uh-oh. is live. <laughs> now we're now we are um we have no choice. <laughs> well, I'll be there. I have no choice. <laughs> um. So now what's cool is now I can share this. Um. I can plus one it. RSVP. You can RSVP with guests, of course. Um. Uh. I can change settings. You, I can go in here. So um. What's really cool is now what what could happen is. Uh, someone who understands the Google Maps, uh, which is very different than it used to be, um, could actually go and actually make a route, and so everybody can see the route we're taking ahead of time. And that could be useful um, for people who might not come, you know, on time, but at the same time, uh, photo walks are sometimes fun when you have an idea of the route, but um, don't plan it 100%. You know what I mean? Like, it's fun for us to know we're starting up here and making our way down, and we could go in and trace the actual paths we're going to take and, and follow that path. But at the same time, you know, if we're going to say we're going this way, but instead we want to go this way the day of for whatever reason, you know, it's fun to, to diverge from from the, the planned route. So um, I'm not 100%, 100% sure if we're going to 
really map it out that detailed or if we're just going to wing it that day. But we at least we have our starting and ending point, which is the most important thing. Yeah, I, t- I tend to call it in New York because you can't help it, photo wandering instead of photo walking. Yeah. Because if something catches your eye and you turn left and you keep going and something else catches your eye, you know you have an end point. So you try, you try to make your way towards that end point, but you know, you're know you not going to walk any specific route. It's impossible in New York. Yep. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. The event is now po- posted, and now we can go ahead and, and share this on our Google Plus walls. Um or feeds, and then copy all the details and put it in the Facebook, which Nick is going to do on the main um, PAC Facebook group. Yep. He's going to actually make it there and share it out to the world, and everybody can reshare it on their own pages and their own groups and, and so on. Um, and so photo walking, obviously, is a great way to meet people, to um, try out new things. So uh, one thing that I always, uh, when I do private lessons and whenever, whenever I'm teaching and coaching and stuff, is I'll tell people to try something you've never tried before. So go out with a lens that you've never went out with before and only use that one lens or, or challenge yourself in a different way where you only want to do distorted things or you only want to do you know perfect perspectives or you only want to do macro or anything. Um, so Photo Walk's a great way to learn as well and learn from others because the three of us are going to be there. And if you're there and you've never done long exposure, well, I wrote an ebook on long exposure. Ask me questions about it. You know what I mean? Um, or, you know, street photography or just standard landscape photography or, or HDR or whatever. Um, or ask about planning a photo walk. Um, so, yeah. Any guy, Anything you guys want to, um, clo- you know, end that with um, for the video for people who want to plan a photo walk? No, I, I totally agree. Just, just in uh, learning new stuff, you really, you know, you just advance so much and learn so much when you're looking outside the box and it's it's really um, you know it helps it kind of fuses in the stuff you learn at, at the conference and at classes and workshops and puts it into motion and you could be sitting there shooting right next to someone and you look at their shot online and you look at your shot and it's totally different you're like wow why didn't I think of that you know so you even learn after the photo walk um, as well so yep yeah but don't be afraid to ask questions um not us necessarily, but anybody next to you. If they're doing something a little different and it interests you, ask because you may learn something that you didn't expect to learn. Um, when you're photo walking, it's the best time to experiment with your photography and try different things. You know, bring your most uncomfortable lens and work with that, or bring your most newest lens and work with that, or just shoot with an 85 millimeter prime and just go for it and do you know shoot shallow depth of field. It's, you can do whatever you want. You're going to mess up. You're going to get some horrible shots, but you're going to get some really good shots also. You know, you just you have to be willing to try everything. Awesome. Well yeah. said. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm going to stop the broadcast um, right about now. <laughs>